G'day guys, how are we going? Look, I'm going to have a chat with Matt from Diesel Tune Australia and we're going to have a nuts and bolts Q&A session to give you the answers on what's involved in a flash tune and how that tune will improve the performance of your common rail diesel motor compared to installing a power chip. Let's go and have a chat with Matt. Well, Matt, since Diesel Tune Australia have tuned my patrol, there's been a lot of questions asked about how their flash tune actually works and how it'll improve the performance of their common rail diesel motor. I just wonder if you could tell us a bit about that. Yep. So, Tim, we reprogrammed the vehicle's factory ECU. Uh, so we remapped the, the files in the computer which control the power, uh, both, namely fuel and boost. Uh, there's a lot of torque maps we change in there as well. And we start off by doing a, bef a before run on the dyno, just to get a general understanding of how the car's running and then we go and adjust the settings in the factory ECU uh, for the maximum performance, maximum safe performance on the dyno that way. So how much safer is it for what you guys do from where it comes out at factory? Um, the factory ECU or the factory tune is normally very conservative. Um, they'll run very lean air fuel ratios, which is fine. Uh, we can generally richen the mixtures up, add some boost pressure to it, still keep it safe. We'll run about a maximum of air fuel ratio about 18 to 1. Uh, a lot of vehicles come out factory 18 to 1, so uh, we're certainly not going to be taking any risks with uh, with the engine at all. So every motor and, and every car is all tuned differently accordingly to what, what the specifications is of that motor? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that, that's that's what I think makes us different to a lot of other companies is we'll set the car up and custom tune it so as we know the air fuel ratio is 18 to 1, the boost pressure is nice and safe, and really the, the power is the result of that. We're not out there looking for a, a particular number. You know, we're not chasing power as such. Uh, we'll set up at 18 to 1 air fuel ratio and then add the boost to it, and the power is really the result of that. Just wonder if you could explain what's different to installing an aftermarket power chip as opposed to the flash tune. Yeah, so uh, aftermarket chips or modules, sometimes they're called modules, um, will plug into a wiring harness, or sometimes they have to be soldered or cut into a, a wiring harness of the vehicle. Um, and what, that, what they generally do is change or alter the settings or the, or the signals from the sensors um, to the ECU or from the ECU to the sensors to get the engine or get, get, to get the ECU to do what the chip's trying to do, namely add more fuel uh, by increasing fuel pressure or uh, prolonging the, the, the time the injectors are open. Um, some of them have boost as well, yeah, so they plug into the boost sensor and trick the computer into thinking that there's less boost than there actually is, so the computer goes, oh, I better add more boost, and that's how they can get uh, in increased uh, boost pressure uh, by plugging a chip in. Um, we remap the factory ECU, so we're telling it, or we're, we're rewriting the ECU in its entirety to to change those settings. Um, there's no tricking. Uh, there's no going behind its back. The computer's still in control. So, matter all the ECU flash tunings are they all the same? Definitely not, mate. Um, it, it really comes down to the skill and the talent of the tuner, the tools that he's using. Uh, like you know, we've we've set up properly here with with all the latest technology. Um, four-wheel drive dyno and, and our tuners have been doing it for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. Um, and, and again, really, it does come down to that talent and uh, the attention to detail. So once the flash tune's been installed into your car, can it be reversed or can it be removed? Yeah, most definitely. So there's a couple of ways of being able to do that. We've got dealers around the country, so um, for, any, for any reason, if it needed to come out of there, we can certainly um, send you to a dealer and have them flash it back to standard. Or you can go back to your, so you, with your Nissan, you go back to Nissan and, and they can rewrite it over the top and put the standard tune fold back in it. So it's not like once it's in there, it's in there forever. Um, if there's diagnoses that need to be made and, and they think it's the tune, uh, they can put the standard tune fold back in it. If that does happen and it fans out, finds out that it isn't the tune, we still do have your tune on fold here, so it's not a big deal to put that back in once that's been done. And could the flash tune affect my servicing and new car warranty of a new vehicle? Your servicing remains standard, so you just do the normal thing in terms of servicing, you go back, um, the dealer can plug in their scan tools and check the codes and, and, and clear codes and all that sort of stuff as per normal. Um, so no, absolutely no dramas with servicing, it continues on as per normal. Um, we don't, in, in terms of warranty, we're certainly not going to put you in a position where the tune will affect or make you have to go back for, for warranty concerns in terms of overpowering anything. Uh, we tune them very conservatively so you don't have that as an issue. What sort of warranties do you provide and guarantees with the work that you provide here? Yeah, good question. We, we offer a 90-day satisfaction guarantee, uh, which means that when you leave here, 
you're going to be happy with it. And you've got three months to make up your mind that you're happy with it. Uh, if there's any issues, bring it back. If we can't sort it out, we'll give you your money back. We offer a 12-month uh, guarantee on our workmanship. So if there's something we've done wrong in the tune, um, and it's, it has affected the vehicle uh, for 12 months, we come back to us and we'll sort it out. And then we offer a lifetime warranty on the, on the tune file itself. So once it's in the ECU, unless it's overwritten, it ain't coming out. It's there forever. That's a pretty impressive warranty for you guys to be putting your name behind your quality of your work like that. Mate, we, we got to stand by it. We, we know what we're doing um, and we know we're doing it right. Again, it comes back to, to tuning them properly and, and not taking any risks with your engine. Uh, mate, the last thing I want you is ringing me from the bush saying you've got a problem and, and you know, that's, that's not an easy thing to fix, yeah? So uh, we're not going to put you in a position that that's going to be a concern and um, that's why we put that warranty in place. So are there any additional upgrades required with the flash tune? Generally not. Uh, most vehicles you can bring in and uh, we can tune the, remap the ECU and you get a great gain. Um, exhaust systems can be beneficial on some vehicles but definitely they're definitely not mandatory. Like uh, you see a lot of advertising out there that an exhaust is mandatory, it's definitely not. Uh, snorkels are not mandatory. Snorkels are really for water crossings, that's about it. Um, some vehicles need heavy duty clutches but that's rare so it's pretty much just Toyotas. Uh, for the most part, you can bring it in, get a great increase, 25-30% without having to do anything else at all. Look, well, mate, I think we've um, covered a lot of the big questions. Yeah. You've given some great answers. So hopefully uh, that's going to help a lot of people out that have been wanting to find out a bit more how flash tune works. Yep. Um, I can't speak highly enough about the changes it's made to my patrol. It's just absolutely fantastic. So look, I greatly appreciate your time today. Thanks, Dimmer. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you out in the bush someday. You will, mate, I reckon. Well, there you go guys. Look, I hope Matt's answered some of the questions that you may have had about how Flash Tune works. But look, if you'd still like to know more, give the guys a call on 03 9793 or jump on Diesel Tune Australia's website and see where the nearest DTA outlet is for you around Australia and have a chat with a friendly team there. Good on you guys. I'll see you in the bush someday.